Okay, yesterday we were talking about multiplying whole number times a fraction. And we were using counters and we were looking at different problems. And so what I asked you to do is I asked you to do this paper as practice so you could see how much you were understanding from what was going on with the lesson. So again, you could have used counters in order to do this. <coughs> Remember, the denominator is very important. That tells me how many groups. All right, so it says find the value of each of the following. So they want one third of 12. So I know that there's a total of 12 counters here. I know that they're gonna put them in groups of, in three equal groups. So we've got one, two, three equal groups. In each group, I see that there are four counters. So it's a good idea for you to go through and just say that stuff to yourself so you have some idea of what information you're going to be using in order to answer the question. So we've got one third of 12. So I know that one of these groups is one third of the whole 12. So now I need to take a look how many of those counters equal one third of the whole of 12. So one third, it's the same thing as saying one third times 12, and I notice that there are four counters. So two thirds, so here's one third, here's two thirds, or two of those groups. All right, so I have four, eight. Three thirds, I know, three thirds, is the same thing as a whole or one whole. Well, if I have the whole thing, I have 12 counters altogether. If I have the whole thing, I've got 12 counters, four, eight, 12. Remember when numerator and denominator are the same, that means the whole. All right, one fourth of 20. So I know I'm gonna be putting them in four equal groups. So I've got five in each group. So they're equal groups. I've got one, two, three, four equal groups. That's what I need according to my denominator. So one fourth of 20 would be five. Two fourths, well I know two fourths is the same as half. Half of 20. Well, two fourths would be here, but I already know that two fourths or half of 20 is 10. 5, 10. So this is just the visual representation of what I already know. So then I have 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 5, 10, 15. So 3 fourths of 20 is 15. Now I've got numerator and denominator the same. That means the whole thing. Well, the whole thing would mean all of the counters. All of the counters would be 20. And when I go back and check 5, 10, 15, 20, I know that I'm representing it the correct way. So now I'm going down here and I notice that my dividers are going um, horizontally instead of vertically this time. So they're going across. So these are gonna be my equal groups this time. My equal groups are not going to go this way. That's not where my dividers are. So they have to be in five equal groups. That's what my denominator tells me. One, two, three, four, five. Now I notice that my counters all line up. So I know that they're equal groups, five equal groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> There's seven in each group. So one fifth of 35. So that would be right here. One fifth of 35, I know that there's seven in each row. So this would be seven. So two fifths would be seven, 14. Three fifths would be seven, 14, 21. Four fifths, four fifths would be 21, let's see, 7, 14, 21, 28. 5 fifths, 5 fifths would be right here. 5 fifths is the same as one whole. Numerator and denominator are the same. So that would be the whole thing or all of the counters, which would be 
35. Now, they've asked us to do six fifths. Well, we don't have another group on here. So how would we figure that out? Well, I know that there are seven in each group. So I would need one more group. So if I draw another group out here to the side, and um, I'm gonna draw my diamonds as best I can, because I, well, I guess I could go ahead and draw them up here. I could go ahead and draw another row of diamonds right up above here. And I know that there were seven in each group. So I need to make seven more in that group. And that would be six fifths. So six fifths would be an additional seven to this. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of seven. And I know six groups of seven equals 42. Now, why is this number bigger? Remember what I said before? The numbers get smaller. Well, six fifths, if five fifths is one whole, six fifths is going to be more than one whole. So this is one whole and one fifth of another. So that's gonna be a little bit different, okay? So in order to answer this, I had to add another row, another row to show the six fifths, all right? And then I could figure that out. So that was a little challenge for you. All right, so tonight I'm asking you to do the exit ticket. The exit ticket has just a few questions on it, and it's to show that you understand what's going on. It is for a grade, so you can go ahead and upload that. Uh, when you're finished with it. And I want you to um, ask questions if you need help. You can rewatch anything. You can use counters when you're doing this. Um, but make sure if you have questions that you speak up and you ask. You can email me. Um, if your parents want me to give you a call to talk to you on speakerphone while they're there, I can do that too. So just let me know. All right? Keep watching. Stay curious and always keep learning. See you tomorrow.